The Wild getting their first chance to step out onto the ice again. Yeah, there's still plenty of time until the season gets underway, but it's always exciting to see them lacing up the skates yeah. again. I know Jim Rich loves this because you're an old-time hockey oh, guy yeah. yourself, man. It's Loving this. The start good, of a new season. It's good to get in those cold rinks again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're just a little <laughs> invigorated. You're like, yeah, this is good to see you guys out there uh, fighting for jobs. And the Wild could have plenty of jobs available with them parting ways with Zach Parisi and Ryan Suter. There are now positions available, so the start of today's prospect camp over in St. Paul had even more meaning to the young players that hopped on the ice, hoping to get their shot at the NHL. And most of the eyes were focused on two number one picks, Marco Rossi and Matthew Boldy. The two are expected to have the greatest chance to make the Wilds opening night lineup. Rossi joined the club last year after the World Junior Tournament, but he contracted COVID-19 and then myelocarditis. It was a brutal battle for him, one that times Rossi felt he was never going to play hockey again. But now with that behind him, he's relishing this chance to play in the NHL. But even more important to him, it's just great to be back playing the game he loves. When I was injured, like my passion was hockey, to play hockey. And when I play hockey, it's like, that's my passion. I love to play hockey. And after such a long time, when you play again hockey, then you realize like how much you love the sport. So especially right now when I'm out there, I always like appreciate more to be out there because yeah, it's, I'm just thankful that I can play hockey again. First time I met him was last week here. We've, we've been here for a week working out and skating and stuff like that. But I think he's an awesome kid. He's really smart. I think coming back to the bench and talking to him about stuff and, and seeing what he sees, he, he sees the ice really well. And then he, he's an unbelievable skater, which I think is, is his biggest asset. He, he can turn on a dime. He gets away from everyone. He, he plays really strong as well. So combining all those together with how smart he is, he, uh, he makes it pretty easy to go out there and make plays with and, and kind of score some goals. And so these two hope to be the new faces of this franchise as Parisi and Suter move on. Yeah. But you got to realize these guys are only 19 and 20 years old. And so they've got some shoes to grow into. Also, Kirill Kaprizov, uh, no movement yet on getting him re-signed. He's still apparently over in Siberia. Uh, oh my goodness, uh, yeah. wow. So we gotta get him back. Situation. It's great to hear that appreciation though for this sport, you know. Oh, it's yeah, it's he, taken away from you, uh, I mean, um, the love you realize you had for it and the appreciation for every practice. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. Yeah. He takes nothing for granted. Right, exactly. He's so happy to go get that puck in the corner for you. That's right. That's right. No <laughs> problem. I'll go get it. <laughs>